Well, would you look at that? It was the biggest building implosion the city of Austin has ever seen. Good evening. I'm Erin Cargyle. Months of planning led up to the big boom, reducing Austin's Ashbell Smith Hall to dust and debris in just seconds today. KXAN's Alyssa Gord saw it all go down at 5th and Colorado. I had to get the kids up. They weren't very willing, but it was worth it for Robbie Marsh and the other onlookers to get up before the sun to watch. I'm a builder and I, I've taken buildings down, but I've never seen it implode before. So and it's exciting coming out here. My my adrenaline was rushing after months of prepping. The glass windows were removed and the explosives carefully planted. Though the building itself stood for about 40 years, it only took 10 seconds for Ashbel Smith Hall to go from this to this. just basically fell exactly as planned. Uh, gravity pulled it down. They say it's the fastest, safest method to take down the building that used to house the University of Texas system offices. Holy cow. Holy cow is right. The developers will dig a hole and a parking garage five floors down, then build 40 stories up. They'll preserve a historic post office and add restaurant space, offices, retail, a gym, and 1,500 parking spots. There was a concern about with the, uh, the bombings that were going on over the past couple weeks, um, whether that was the right time or not to, to, to do this. But thanks to advanced warnings, the only one here who seemed spooked by it all was one cat in the smoke. Um, and went perfectly. Now starts the cleanup for this project that will add more density to the heart of the city. Alyssa Gord, KXAN News. And yeah, that cleanup, Austin Fire says it could take up to two months to clear the site. If everything goes as planned, the developers plan to start construction on this new building in the summer. It's been 11 years since the last big implosion in Austin when 500 pounds of explosives were used to take down the Intel building downtown during an economic downturn. That implosion made way for the federal courthouse. Also at the scene of the implosion today was the Austin Fire Department's structural collapse team. They look at buildings when disaster strikes and use this as a learning opportunity for emergencies. They told us it's helpful for them to see what falls apart and what doesn't during an implosion.